Hey guys, it's Skulker3, and welcome to part 28 of Let's Play End of Search 2 Adventures of the Deep. In the last part, we followed a spectacled porpoise out of the Antarctic. This porpoise, to be precise. <laughs> nah. Yeah, apparently you could just call him. Anyways, I didn't think you could, but apparently you can. So, that has led me to a revelation. I'm guessing that from now on we're going to be meeting dolphin partners in the middle of the thing. So, what I'm going to do in terms of dolphin naming contest is I'm going to, at least for this one, just for now, I want you to post your suggestions for dolphins now. Um, uh, because of computer crapness, I know what the next dolphin is going to be. It's, I'll see if I can put an image up for you. Uh, of what the dolphin looks like if you need inspiration, or if you just want to randomly choose a name, then that's fine as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd start with this so you could see that we've already got Swift, so that's cool. Uh, so yeah, the dolphin naming contest rules, if you weren't watching my previous Endless Ocean Let's Play, um, are only one suggestion per person. Uh, you can change but you're not allowed to have more than one suggestion at a time sort of thing. Um, and you must have it done by 6pm GMT the following day, I think I'm going to make it. Because I don't know how else to do it, really. Because I don't know when this video is going up. So that's going to be the rules for Dolphin Naming Contest. I'll probably repeat them later. Um, sorry to start this off with a pretty boring thing, but... Uh, I just don't want to get into um, the. I don't want to get into doing the storyline. Oh wow, that was a new one, right? It was totally awesome. Yes, it was. Um, I don't want to get into doing the main storyline bit just because I've done a lot of recording today and then it's all gone wrong. Uh, so I just don't want to have to do it again. Um, so I'm just going to start off with this. That's awesomeness. Right, now we're going to go. We're going to do what we have to do to get the next cutscene thing going on. And then we're going to do... Um, you know what? We're going to do something that I know you also unlock, which is what happens with the guitar. Um, I know it's not storyline, and I said I would be doing storyline, but just in this one case. yoo -hoo, Anyone home? Hello? <laughs> it should be illegal to hear like that this early. Hey! What are you doing here? What is all this racket? Why are you on my island? Good morning, islanders. It's me, Gigi. So, this is where you live. Got to say, you got a pretty sweet place. Anyway, I'm here because I got something to talk to you about. What? What else? The Song of Dragons. Oh, that's interesting. You both after the same things, right? The Song of Dragons is a Pacific treasure. Wait, what? You're after them too? You bet, girl. I've been chasing the Pacific treasure for over ten years now. I'm absolutely 100% definitely sure the treasure exists. This Song of Dragons seems to have some strong link to it, so, it's been, so I've been hard at work salvaging anything and everything from all the oceans in the world that have legends about the Song of Dragons. So that's what you meant when you said that there was something else you were after at Valky Castle. So, you came here to extract information? No, no, don't get me wrong. I got a hot tip about a certain location a little while ago. I want to go check it out, but it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Sorry, had to make that reference. So I came here looking for a dive partner. Simple trade. I give you the info of the Song of Dragons, and you come help me scout the place and see if the info is hard or not. Of course, if we find any treasure, I'm willing to split it. Oh, how generous. And what percentage did you have in mind? Well, since I'm the clan and all, I think 80-20 is a pretty good deal. That's 80 for us and 20% for you, right? Since there's four of us and one of you. Whoa, whoa, hang on a sec. Well, if you're not up for it, you could always just leave. But good luck finding someone who can read the Okeanos carvings other than Professor Sakurai. You mean that's her? The famous Ayako Sakurai. Pleased to meet you. No way! I thought Ayako was a guy's name. Guess I was wrong. How about dinner sometime, Doc? Back to the point. 80% for us, 20% for you? That'll... Fine, whatever. Brilliant. Grandpa? If you must. Huh. My tip's about a place said to be linked to the Song of Dragons. And it's not in the sea for once. What? Then where is it? 
In the sky! No, it's in a river, the Cortica River, in the Amazon region of South America. There's a waterfall in the upstream area of the river that the locals call Spirit Falls. Apparently, they hear strange sounds from coming from the cascade that they call Dragon Song. They say the song was sung by the spirits of the falls for a traveling ocean deity that once visited them. Cortica River? I just remembered that place has come up in my research before. A number of lapis lazuli artifacts have been discovered there recently. It's a hot topic in the scientific community. Coincidence? That's a coincidence, I'm a goblin shark. I knew I was right on the track of the Pacifica treasure. Quartica River in South America? I've never gone diving in a river before. I wonder what it's like. Probably like swimming in the sea, only narrower and shallower space. GG joined R and R diving to Huzzah. Right. So, if you look at the guitar, then you have this little conversation with Ocean. You bought a guitar, but can you actually play? Apparently I can, which I'm explaining to you now. I'm responding to that. Really? Is there anything you can't do? I'd like to listen, but there's this new guide request that's come in. It seems pretty urgent. If you want to take it, come talk to me, okay? Can do. So, we're gonna do that. I don't know how long it takes, because I didn't do it, because, you know, it wasn't storyline based, but... I'm just giving up on that for just this one part. Just because I don't want to do loads of recordings right. The Cortica River, huh? I've never gone diving in a river before. Kinda of looking forward to it though. Okay, I'm really looking forward to it. Guide to tour requests. Such request. Ooh! Cave! Ah, he wants to go to Valka Castle, so we go, huh? Because last time it was a woman wanting to go to Cicero Strait. But now it's Cave! Wanting to go to Valka Castle. So we'll have to investigate that at some point, but not today. Actually, I might just do those off-screen. And will, I think. Sorry if that disappoints you, but yeah. This one is just because it seems to be a special request for some reason. Hello, woman. With sunglasses on. Discussion. Nice to meet you, I'm Marcia. There's something that I wanted to ask you about. It sounds a bit odd, but did you buy a guitar recently? Why, yes we did. Guitar? You think she means the guitar we bought? <laughs> um, that guitar. Mm-hmm. The shape, the scratches on the top. This is definitely it. Finally, I found you, Dad. What in the hell? I spent so long trying to find my father's guitar. Ah. I finally got a hint about where it could be, but then I heard that it had been sold to you. Do you mind if I tell you about him? Yes. <laughs> I don't want backstory. So 20 years ago, his guitar washed ashore in the Cicero Strait. And you want us to help you find the Pride of Athens because your father was on board, right? I understand. I know how it feels to want to know more about your father. We'll take you there. Right, it's decided. Next stop, Cicero Strait. Oh, you crazy Oceane. So, we've got not much time left in this video, but I'm still gonna try, damn it. Oh. Hooray, instant dive take. That's useful. Um. Yeah. So now that you've got GG, you also get the little, um, treasure rating thing. Um, I'll tell you about GG. He'll remind us later, but... Uh, Gigi helps you find salvaging stuff if you take him diving with you, so that's cool. Okay, you ready? I'm ready to go now. I can't wait. My accent is kind of going all over the place, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, can I remember where the Pride of Athens is? Nope. So we're just going to have to guess. Um, let's hope we can find it within two minutes, because if not, then fluke. I just want to just heard um, the multi sensor, but we're not using it. Suspicious. Well, yes, it is, because, you know, I'm hearing noises that aren't being made. Now I'm worried for my sanity. Anyone else? Just you, Mr. Bun Bun? Ha! Huh, you'll worry about everything. Um, yeah, that was meant to be a sort of joke. Pretending that I thought I saw people that weren't actually there and, and couldn't talk because, you know, people who don't exist generally can't talk. It, it's generally a written rule. 
of non-existence, really. Is this the pride of Athens? Is it or is it the shame of Athens? Hello? Uh, I wish it would tell me which wrecks I'm looking at. Wreck of the Demeter. Nope, it's not you. Um, this was a bad idea, I feel. Well, in the next part, I'm just going to open it at the Pride of Athens. And then might do my deep hole video. That might make sense. Yeah. So what I'm going to do tomorrow... No, tonight still, but in the next part. Ooh, here's a new thing. Giant Trevally. Yes. Um, so in the next part, we're going to find the Pride of Athens. And we're also going to do Deep Hole. Um, just because I think it makes sense. Amphitrite Sanctuary. Or is it Amphitrite? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Ah, bye.